Hello everyone. We've been making several videos on robot vacuums, which are smart robot vacuums. To me, that's what makes them uh, interesting and good. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on a little bit more home automation, smart things of the home. And um, so I've been trying to convert my house slowly over to smart devices that are controlled uh, by your phone and by voice. Uh, voice is still a little bit um, behind, lagging behind in technology, but um, for instance, I can say stuff like, hey Google, turn off my Christmas tree. Sure, turning off Christmas tree. So I've got that set up with TP-Link. Hey Google, turn on Christmas tree. Okay, turning Christmas tree on. So I've got that set up with TP-Link uh, or CASA, K-A-S-A, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, these smart plugs, they've now come on, down in price. You can get a four pack of them for less than 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, they come in a couple of different versions. They come in a um, 10 amp, 12 amp, and a 15 amp. This is the 12 amp version, so it's the middle grade one. And I'm really only using it to control my lights and various things in the house. So I'm not gonna be really controlling anything that pulls a lot of amperage. So you can save a few bucks and get uh, the ones that are cheaper. 10 amp would probably be just fine if you're just controlling a lamp. I guess one in the front of my room here. Hey Google, turn on the living room table lamp. So it's just as easy as that when you control it by voice. Hey Google. Turn on the living room floor lamp. All right, so, hey Google, turn off living room. Okay, turning three outlets off. So that turned everything off, and likewise I can also say, hey Google, turn on living room. Okay, turning three outlets on. So as you see, it turned everything on. So I've got that working with the TP-Link adapters connected into my uh, Google Home app. Um, if you'd like to know more about that or you'd like me to do a review on the TP-Link CASA um, smart plugs, uh, comment below, give this video a like. Um, I'll, uh, I'll be more than glad to do a more in-depth review and also maybe uh, dive in a little bit on how you connect uh, these devices into the Google Home so that you can control them by voice because once you get them set up you can control them by the app but you have to do some additional setting up inside the Google Home in order to get uh, Google to respond and cut them on and off uh, by name so that's pretty cool uh, one other quick thing to show you um, can also control Roku TVs uh, with Google Home hey Google turn on the Roku TV now this is not without limitations. Turning the family room Roku on. Um, so it turns the TV on, turns the receiver on down there. Well, the TV turns the receiver on. So uh, then you're 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 good to go there. Um, hey Google, like it. turn off family room TV. Okay, turning the family room Roku off. So there's just a little bit of uh, what I've been doing lately to. Uh, my home to make it a little bit uh, easier to control and of course this allows you to control it from anywhere in the u.s cutting stuff on and off right now i have this christmas tree scheduled at 11 o'clock in the evening to turn off and to turn on at sunrise that way whenever we get up the tree is already on uh, the lights i just have them in case we forget to turn them off i just have them automatically go off at 12 30 in the morning so you can set up schedules timers uh, you can integrate it in with voice uh, all that good stuff uh, again, uh, comment below if you want to see some in-depth uh, reviews of the TP-Link smart plugs uh, and the uh, integration in with the Google Home. And uh, make sure you uh, share and subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for, uh, for the view and the subscription. All right. Everyone have a Merry Christmas out there. Take it easy. Thanks.